what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the values of m and n for which m to the n minus n is equal to 77 but there is a condition attached to this question that says both m and n are natural numbers now our first step will be for us to simplify this so this is m to the n so m to the n well i'm going to be putting 2 over 2. the reason is because 2 over 2 is equal to 1 so it doesn't change anything so i'll be raising this to the 2 over 2 minus n i'm going to be doing the same thing so this is n to the 2 over 2 and this is equal to 77 very good now our next step will be for us to simplify this 2 over 2 2 over 2 is the same as 1 over 2 times 2 so instead of writing this i'm going to be writing this so this will be m to the n now raised to the Instead of this, I'll write 1 over 2 times 2 minus, I'll do the same thing here. So this will be n to the 1 over 2 times 2 equal to 77. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the property of indices that says when I have, for example, a to the x times y this can also be written as a to the x or raised to the y so we can see that this property is implying that the exponents multiply so that means n 1 over 2 and 2 are all multiplying so now let's write this in another form so this becomes m to the n times 1 over 2 very good and this is raised to the 2 very good minus we're going to write this the same way so this will be n to the 1 over 2 all raised to the 2 since the powers are multiplying and this is equal to 77 now our next step would be for us to switch the positions of n and 1 over 2 since they are multiplying switching their position does not change anything so this expression is same as m to the 1 over 2 times n and this is all raised to the 2 minus this is n to the 1 over 2 and this is raised to the 2 equal to 77 very good now from indices we all know that a to the 1 over 2 is the same as the square root of a i'm going to be applying this property of indices to what we have here so that means this expression is same as the square root of m and this is raised to the n very good all raised to this power of 2 minus this is as this can be written as the square root of n and this is raised to the power of 2 equal to 77 very good now we have an expression in the form of difference of two squares and difference of two squares for example can be expressed as when i have a squared minus b squared this is the same as a minus b times a plus b now let's express this like this so this will be the square root of m to the n minus the square root of n just as a minus b here times the square root of m to the n plus the square root of n just as a plus b very good 
and this is equal to 77. Very good. Now notice that we have two factors on the left that are multiplying to give 77. So that means our next step will be for us to write out the factors of 77. So on the left, we have the square root of m to the n minus the square root of n. And this has been multiplied by the square root of m to the n plus the square root of n. This is equal to the factors of 77 are 11 times 7. Very good. Now, since we have two factors on the left and two factors on the right, that means we're going to be equating the factors. But in order to do that, we have to know which of these two factors is bigger. Now, notice that the square root of m to the n minus the square root of n is always smaller than the square root of m to the n plus the square root of n. So that means we're going to be taking the smaller factor, which is the square root of m to the n minus the square root of n, and we equate that to the smaller factor of 77, which is 7. And we take the bigger factor, which is the square root of m to the n plus the square root of n. We're going to be equating this to the bigger factor of 77, which is 11. Very good. So we have two equations to solve. And we're going to be solving these equations simultaneously. So solving these two equations simultaneously, our next step will be for us to add the two equations. So I'll add equation 1 to equation 2. So adding the square root of m to the n plus the square root of m to the n is 2 root square root of m to the n. And then negative square root of n plus the square root of n is 0. So no need of writing that. Equal to 7 plus 11 is 18. Now let's divide both sides by 2. So I'll divide the left by 2. I'll divide the right by 2. So 2 divided by 2 cancels out, leaving behind the square root of m to the n to be equal to 18 divided by 2 is 9. So since I have equation 1 and 2, I can decide to call this equation 3. Now, let me put or substitute, substitute, I don't know if that's correct, substitute the square root of m to the n equal to 9 in either of these two equations. I'm going to be choosing equation 2 since that is simpler. So I have the square root of m to the n. I'm going to be writing 9 there. So this is 9 plus the square root of n equal to 11. Now, since I'm looking for n, I'll be isolating this, the square root of n, and I'll move 9 to the right-hand side. So this is equal to 11. And as 9 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 9. So that the square root of n now becomes 11 minus 9 is 2. Now, to get the value of n, I just have to square both sides. So I'll square the left, I'll square the right. Now, the square cancels out the square root, leaving behind n to be equal to 2 squared is 4. Very good. Now, let's put this value of n in equation 3. So I'll say put the value of n, which is 4, in equation 3. So equation 3, we have the square root of m to the n. So I'm going to be putting 4 there because that's the value of n. This is equal to 9. Well, I can simplify this using the knowledge of indices by saying the square root of m raised to the 2 and all this can raise to 2. The reason is because powers multiply. So 2 times 2 gives back 4 equal to 9. Very good. 
And now simplifying further, you see that the square cancels out the square root, leaving behind m to the power of 2 to be equal to 9. Now let's get rid of this square by taking the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of the left hand side. On the right hand side, I'll put plus or minus and then take the square root of the right. Now notice that the square root cancels out the square, leaving behind m to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3. So we've got the value of m to be plus 3 or negative 3. Now let's check if these values are actually correct. Now rem remember that the value of m we got is 4, right? And the given question is m to the n minus n is equal to 77. Now we want to show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now let's choose from the left hand side and prove if we get 77. Now I'll be starting with the negative value of m. So this is m, so start with the negative value of m, which is negative 3. This is raised to the n. What is n? n is 4 minus 4. So simplifying, negative 3 to the fourth is actually 81. Since this is an even power, that means we're going to be having a positive result. Minus 80. Okay, that's minus 4. That's good. So 81 minus 4 is actually 77. And this is what we have on the right hand side. So our value for m which is negative 3, is actually correct. And remember, if there is no negative here, that means when we're using the positive value of m, which is 3, we're still going to have 3 to the fourth, which will give 81. So 81 minus 4 will also give 77. So both values of m are correct. So that means our result or final solution for m and n are, we have m to be 3, and n to be 4, and when m is also negative 3, n to the fourth is also, is also correct. Very good. Now feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.